The short video is about collimating a reflector telescope with a laser collimator. The one I have is a next generation laser collimator. I put it onto a two inch adapter to go straight into the T telescope. There's seven different light settings for brightness of the laser point. So the collimator goes into the eyepiece holder with the target facing back towards the um, primary mirror. I'm going to lock that in place like so. <clears throat> the idea of collimating is to align the secondary mirror with the primary mirror and the eyepiece holder for a camera or an eyepiece. So on the primary mirror you'll see we've got a little black circle which is the centre of the primary mirror. We've got three adjustment bolts on the bottom of the telescope these being the primary mirror adjustment and these being the lock for the mirror to stop it moving. On the secondary mirror we've also got three Allen key bolts for adjusting the secondary mirror to get it in line. I've purposely put this a fair way out of collimation for this video. So I'll start by turning on my laser. So the laser dot is on. We need to see what we've got. As you can see, the dot is a fair way from the center of the circle. Now the idea is to aim that dot bang on the center of the little black circle at the same time, having the dot disappear through the hole on the target inside the collimator. We can't actually see the dot at all at the moment. In fact, there's a dot on the uh, wall over there. That's how far it is out. It's not even touching the secondary mirror. So, not a problem. We'll start by taking this secondary mirror with an Allen key insert it into one of the holes loosen that off a fraction of a turn go to another hole tighten that and see what happens and we see the dots moving towards the circle so i went the right way so i'm going to loosen that off a fraction more not much and i'm going to tighten that one again So any more that way and it's not going to be correct so I'm going to try another loosen that a fraction tighten this one a fraction which is put it out a bit further so loosen that one off a bit and tighten another one this and it's smack well, very close to centre, which will do for the moment. So now, glad to see no red dot on the wall anymore. We need to find our target and see where the laser is on our target. So it's missing the, the centre of the hole. What we've got to do is get that dot to disappear down the middle of that target. So by changing our collimation screws here and seeing which way first I'm going to loosen off the locking nuts at a fraction now by looking at the dot while I turn one collimating bolt we'll see which way the dot moves actually moving towards the middle 
We're going slightly low. We'll go to another bolt and see what happens when I turn it. It brings it up and down the target. Next bolt. There we go, that went across the hole. They were almost down the hole. Well, just in the... Yeah, the dots completely disappeared. So it's aiming straight back from the secondary mirror, from the primary mirror to the secondary mirror, to straight down the laser dot hole. Now we can come back to the front and check down there again and it's hard to get but you can see maybe see the laser dots a fraction out it's probably acceptable but being a bit of a perfectionist i like to get it absolutely spot on so i'm just going to adjust by loosening one tightening another till i get it exactly In the middle. This is quite fiddly this end, knowing what screw does what, but it's just trial and error. That was not a bad move, that was almost into it. My dot seems to be fading. That's it, we're smack in the middle of the uh, little red, little black circle. So that's bang on there. Come back and check the collimation this way. You see by doing that we put it out a fraction more. So loosen up our bolts, our locking bolts on the bottom and twist the collimating bolts. You're actually twisting the mirror. There we go, it's gone. So at the moment, we're right on the dot, and there on the red on the black circle, the laser point has, has disappeared down the hole. We're perfectly collimated. So now with these locking screws, I'm just I'm not going to lock them up. I'm just going to push them till they touch the primary mirror. So now they're locked in position. If I tighten them up too tight, I'm going to move the mirror. Checking again. There we're spot on. So now with some heavier telescopes, you can get um, flex in the tube, especially with a camera attached. So. What I recommend is if you're imaging one target all night and especially if it's a low altitude target, you aim your scope roughly at your target and then um, collimate it in that position. I'll see if this has shifted when I turn the scope round. Off and see if our, there we go, look, you can see just by Flipping the scope 180 degrees, the collimation's gone out. That's just the flex in a 200 one meter um, telescope, 200 PDS. So that's proof that collimating it and then moving it may put your collimation out. So it's worth aiming your target, aiming at your system. Um, target you want, there we go, dots disappeared. If you plan to do many targets in one night, which is quite often, I would suggest collimating the telescope in a neutral position, say park your home position or something like that. Um, if you're on one target for the night, I would suggest collimating, aiming roughly at the target. Hope this has helped you in some way.